any painting, like even if it's small scale, you're always, uh, you have to take a step back and look at what you just did since of this, or because of the scale here. It's good, I mean, it's all, yeah, like it, it's, it's a lot of painting is also working and it's not quite right, not quite right, and then it sort of just sinks into place. And that's a good feeling. My name's Lucy Kripke. I am the co-principal artist on this mural project, originally from Philadelphia um, with Meg Seligman Studios. I've been working with uh, Meg Seligman Studio for five years, on and off. Um, she was the first muralist I'd worked for, um, sort of apprentice, and I, yeah, I've basically been apprenticing with her ever since. And I'm here um, installing this mural for six months. As the project manager, I am in charge of all the logistics. Started with hiring the crew, and we have all sorts of partners throughout the community. Just the day-to-day -day, uh, functioning of, of the project, making sure we're on timeline, on budget, making sure that our tasks every day get us one step closer to a finished product. When we're finished, it's going to be one of the biggest murals in the country. Yay. It'll be 40,000 square feet because we're painting what? all four walls of this building. The portion that you helped out with is going to be sort of front and center on, on what's kind of the front wall. So you'll be able to see your brush strokes anytime you go past. What we're bringing here with Meg and, and Lizzie and the crew to come do something like this, it's not something in which they just come and then they leave. There's a legacy here and so that's why we've really pushed to invest in local artists like Aniel and Mercedes and, um, and Holly um, especially and you know a number of, of artists, Rondell and Anna, we really want to see them carry the torch on and so we want to find ways to support them to do other murals and support them to create new pieces of work as a legacy to this. And the, this is a launch pad, it's not an end. It's, it's just a beginning, it's the hope. I think this is a big deal. It's gonna be the largest mural in the South, East, I think. Yeah. Yeah. One of the largest in the country. Um, and why would a city invest in a project like this? Why do you guys think? Uh, I'm Sean LaRose. I do a lot of things. Um, I used to be primarily murals. As a career, then I moved into oil paintings and murals for about 10 years, and then, more recently, about five years ago, I took on a teaching job, teaching art at a private school locally. Um, so then I also, as I've moved through that, done more art administration, and since then started getting more involved with, I guess, do administration in projects, helping facilitate projects. This is kind of the the reality is when you get into teaching and uh, other things then you have less time to do focus personal art and you have to figure out what you do have time for. So picture Can you move, move over? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so for me that's been facilitating projects, um, whether it's enabling other graffiti artists um, to find spaces or if it's um, creating public spaces in the city um, and activating those, doing creative placemaking um, or collaborative group projects, things like that. My name is Mercedes Llanos and I am from Argentina and I just graduated from UTC in May of 2015 and I uh, I want to be a muralist so I, this is a great place to start uh, working for Max Alex man. So it's my first mural that I'm doing. I teach art classes and do illustrations for children's books too. Always doing something with my hands. My name is Rondell Cryer. I'm a local artist here in Chattanooga, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to spend 100% of my week uh, doing creative things. Um, right now, I run a studio program out in East Chattanooga on Glass Street called Studio Everything, and it's a uh, community art studio program. I try to uh, incorporate the kids and residents who live in that neighborhood into real art projects that I'm working on. So I hire them in those capacities. And then I do uh, workshops with uh, another local artist, uh, Olga Decline. We go every Thursday to the Juvenile Detention Center and, and do an hour and a half art workshop 
And so uh, with this mural as an example, I uh, talked to the uh, managers here about bringing some of the cloth that they've been painting the faces on to the detention center so we can actually have a workshop there where they could participate in this project. And, uh, and it's usually, um, in that case, it's people who are disenfranchised and maybe not necessarily a part of a process like this. So I'm kind of using my like sort of connection to this to engage them in this process. I'm very grateful and uh, happy to be involved in this project and uh, to know, to get to know the people that are now already in this world, in this environment. It will be really helpful for me. My name is Aniel Fernandez. I, from, I am from Cuba and uh, I'm an artist. I don't know if he, if he, has, if he has a name in particular. I just, just like to create. You know, I like a lot like the graffiti stuff and I mixed pop art with graffiti and canvas and all that kind of stuff but I've been thinking lately like and doing installations kind of a funny story I was invited to Mexico to an art expo and all my work was stolen on the, on the airport and I have a couple of friends here in the, in the state of Tennessee and they I just called them from over there they come. Okay, oh, okay, come here, we'll help you for a few months and then you can go by yourself. It's like, okay, and then that's why I'm here. To switch from studio work to mural work because you are using very different paint products and they have very different properties from what I'm used to in the studio. So that's been a real challenge on this project, especially because of the scale. Um, but um, it's really fascinating. My name is Anna Carl and I'm a local artist, was able to apply to this project and was one of the select few of local artists chosen. Oh uh, gosh, I've done a little bit of everything um, from pressure washing to priming to gridding to sketching to spraying color. I'm also, because I'm one of the more organized artists in the group, I keep track of the paint pod and I keep it organized and keep the paint organized and also work on keeping the reference material organized. Well, I have gotten many, 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 many hours of experience. <laughs> I've gotten to really get good at driving lifts. I had never operated um, an aerial work platform before this and now I am pretty great at driving it, if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, I'm a local Chattanooga artist. My name is Holly Berry. I am a traditional oil painter. Uh, that's how I was trained, but I also make handmade books and journals and public art, and I've even gotten into some interactive uh, technology-based art in the past year or two. It's, it's pretty full-time, non-stop. I expected, you know, when I was doing my own mural last year, I was a very fair-weather painter. <laughs> I would go if it was nice out and here I mean I'm you know I have a shift I get here at 7 30 in the morning and I stay until about 3 30 in the afternoon Monday through Friday and um, I was initially thinking oh well full-time won't be that bad because I'll get rain days off and I can go back to my studio and work but no we have we have indoor work we can mix paint and organize the pot and wash brushes and clean equipment and we have um, fabric sheets that we're also going to be adhering to the wall later um, so we can work on those indoors piecemeal so yeah I'm always here the people who, who come through the, the street every single day that I don't know they are going to his way work or something they just horn us and and say hey that's going well I've been seeing like the the whole process is the first day and it's, it's very amazing and that's, that feels good. I'm gonna walk away from this knowing that I can achieve something this large as well and uh, because I've seen all of the you know, little steps and processes to getting it done. I think it's great that Public Art Chattanooga has prioritized making this project not just something to beautify our city but also an opportunity to train up a lot of local artists and really raise the level and caliber of the work that they can create in the future. It's a, just a smashing project and I'm really humbled and grateful to be part of it.